Nate. How's it going, everybody? I am some guy named Nate, and I am playing Danganronpa Dose on... What? Monokuma Rock? Fifth Island is being blocked by that robot. That robot's blocking that one. That snake is blocking that one. Jabberwock Park. Let's go to the stupid Monokuma Rock as soon as we're done with this. I knew there was something else in the middle island. Whoosh. Oh my god, there's a bomb. Why would they put a bomb on the statue? For skinny people, you're awfully slow. Um, it seems you are just too fast for us. Uh, Jeez, I never expected a fat soul like him to move so fast. What? So, what's supposed to be here, other than my boobs? Here, really? Hmph, you haven't noticed it yet? Then I was right to dismiss you all as idiots. That giant fucking bomb. Whoosh. What is that? Great, guys. What? What the hell? There's a time limit to the second one? Hopefully not. An obviously out of place object placed in the center of a peaceful park. It looks like a clock, but something seems off. It's a bomb, you moron. It's counting down. What's going on? What was what was here when we came last time? No, no I'm pretty sure it wasn't. Hm. I found it this morning when I was exploring the island one more time. Oh man, Vince is texting me. Hold up. Okay, cool. I'll talk to him later. It was unknown when it actually was placed here. Bleh. Monokuma must have placed this object. Oh man, it's a big old bomb. What does the countdown even mean? <sighs> I have no clue. <laughs> hmm, once again, something has appeared that I don't understand. But it gets nothing to do with me because I refuse to believe that this is happening. Could it be? It better not be a bomb. A bomb! If they wanted to blow up the island, they would have done so by now, so there's no need for a countdown. Then what are they counting down? It's a mystery. Right? A mysterious mystery, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Monomi? What? Why are you here? Um... I heard everyone talking when I was patrolling, so I came over. Um... No, not that. Didn't Monokuma kill you? I see. Ah, so that's why you're surprised. <laughs> You don't have to worry about that. After all, I can never die. I see. So you must be an undead abomination risen from the foulest depths of the netherworld by black magic. God, you want me to make you my thrall? Hey, hey. Monomi's a mechanical stuffed animal, right? So doesn't that mean she can't die in the first place? Uh, now that you mention it, she'd only need, like, a spare or something. A spare? What a mean thing to say. However, you've arrived at the perfect time. There's something I wanted to ask you. What's the meaning behind this timer and the countdown? Answer me. Huh? A countdown? Yep, right there. What is this? Uh, uh, I'm sorry. I don't know what this is. Whoosh. You really don't know? I'm sorry. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. I really don't have a grasp of what Monokuma's up to. You don't know, even though you're like Monokuma's little sister? I'm not I'm not my brother's little sister. She doesn't accept the role or not. Which one is it? Alrighty. Anyway, let's all do our best. Let's kick the evil Monokuma off the island. If you don't know what the countdown is for, you're useless to us. Get lost. Um, oh, let's together. I said get lost. There you go, Monokuma. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Well, there he goes. Um... Perhaps you are being a little too harsh. I am starting to feel sorry for it. <laughs> Miss Sonia! May I call you Miss Sonia? No, I insist on calling you that. I won't be There's fooled. no need to feel sorry for that thing. She obviously is working with Monokuma. Hey, Who the fuck cares about that stuffed animal? More importantly, what the hell's that clock? Hmm. Looks ominous, doesn't it? Who put that object here? And how did they do it in just one night? Hmm, I can't imagine. Hmm. Which means it doesn't make any sense. Also, it's deadly. <laughs> However, that's not all that's unimaginable. The island is full of mysteries that we can't begin to imagine. For example, how how were the 16 that brought to the island? Bleh. I wasn't trying to think about it, but since it's been bugging me too. But he's right. This is a mystery. There's more. Why is Jabberwock Island, which is known for being a popular resort destination, now an uninhabited island? There's no sign of tourists or even citizens on this island. Is something like that even possible? This... All civilizations are destined to collapse. Nothing begets existence, and existence begets nothing. So it collapsed? You are right. Society is much like fruit. Once it may shores, it is inevitable that we will eventually rot. 
As the economy grows, the private sector signates, or stagnates, and elders and bureaucrats become much more powerful. As time power passes, bleh, the, this power becomes a status quo and crushes the seeds of any possible reformation. Such a sad trend. Um, I don't really understand all that, but I feel like the situation here is something different. Maybe the mono beasts killed everyone on the island. And that's how it became uninhabited? That's a possibility, but we don't know that for sure. The mystery remains a mystery, it seems. It's like everything here is full of mysteries. Mike Tyson again. And also, what's with that face? And why are her hands going down? Put your hands up, and then I won't think you're doing something. You're right. It's mysteries on top of mysteries. However, since these mysteries are overlapping with one another, I doubt some no-name group is behind this. What are you trying to say? I mean, the situation we're in is undeniably the work of some enormous organization. Enormous organization? Monomi, Monokuma, and the Mono Beasts. They're all machines that require major technical skill to operate. Oh my god! Oh, I'm tired. <laughs> Plus, they need a ton of funding, and there's no way those things are made for just the hell of it. In other words, that organization must might be controlling these machines and monitoring the island with those cameras. Then, Could this be the fiends that are hiding on the island? Not, possible. not likely. They're probably running this from somewhere else, somewhere safe. Oh? Where would that be? I don't know. Good job, Byaku Shimaku. Anyway, there's no be uh, mistake. An enormous organization is behind all this. I see. A big organization, huh? I can't imagine what kind of people they could be. In other words, well, let's see. There's my Tagami Corporation, Sonia's Novoselic Kingdom, and the Kuzu, Kuzu Ryu Clan. I mispronounced that on part three, lol. It would definitely have to be an organization as powerful as one of those groups, if not more so. Huh? I'm used to being mistrusted. Do whatever you will. Hold on! I don't care about you or the Kuzu Yuriyu clan, but I don't allow you to doubt Miss Sonia. Miss Sonia is a hot blonde princess. There's a sharp distinction between her and you punks. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, just shut up already, loser. Whoa. Loser? Are you talking about me? It's obvious from your flashy clothes that you just want to stand out because you're actually a loser. Loser! You're a loser! Do you feel sorry for yourself? Well, you should, because you're a baby. Baby, you want a bottle? A big dirt bottle? <laughs> it must be hard for making you living in this lame-ass loser industry. Too far, dude. That's going way too far. Uh, hey, Byaku Shmaku, what are you serious right now? About this being related to your family and Sonya and such? I'm just using them as an example. I'm not saying they have anything to do with this. But you're certain that we're up against a huge, huge organization, right? However, Even if such an organization exists, why would they make us go through something like this? Anyway. <sighs> Whatever. How long are we going to keep talking about this? Why don't we talk about something more realistic? Our enemy's purpose is still unknown. As long as we find out who's behind this, we'll learn their purpose. So, so words, what we must do now is find who our enemy is. If we do that, we'll be that much closer to the breakthrough. <sighs> Ugh, too much reading. Not enough action going on. Luckily, according to the e-handbook, we are free to explore the island. There will definitely be a clue about the enemy on this island somewhere. Let's start looking. Alright, let's get this crap done. <laughs> what are we looking for? Hey. Akane, were you even listening? We need to find clues that will tell us who our enemy is. Five. No problem. However, no matter how large an organization they be, they will not be able to stand against us. They are destined to fall and turn into Aesh. At the might of my four dark divas of destruction, we got Derek, Donnie, uh, Donatello and Dawn. Wow. wow, hamsters came out of your scarf. She's so happy. <laughs> they are so adorable. She also has Celeste's face. That's you know, a coincidence. Adorable, you say? Thank you. Oh man, he's blushing. Good job blushing, Mr. Gundam. Oh, my mom. You're pretty happy about that, huh? Look at this guy talking to Miss Sonya all casually. I'm definitely going to beat the crap out of him later. <laughs> Mechanic Joe, we're all supposed to be friends here. I don't get it. In this tense situation, we all need to be a lot more cautious. And yet, I'm relieved everyone's in such high spirits. It's strange, but I feel like I can rely on them. Well, maybe like six of them at the end of the game. I think there's probably going to be six or six at the end of the first one. This must be what it means to have the confidence of an ultimate dinner. Oh, my arms. And what am I? Am I confident enough to call myself one of them? Damn it, I still can't remember. What talent am I supposed to have? Whoosh. Anyway, let me just say this. 
<laughs> I'm gonna pee. <laughs> that's what I said. That's what he said. That's actually what he said. There's no time to think about something as foolish as killing each other. You must do what you have to do. <laughs> Observe, speculate, recognize, comprehend. Even if it seems impossible, just persevere. But most importantly, follow my lead. I'll make sure to return you all to your normal lives. This is your leader's order, understand? <laughs> yeah! That's, like, totally awesome! That's right off the right hand! Oh, wait, my god. That right hand of his oh so plump, I got the perfect nickname for him! Ham Hands! Ham Hands, you say? Hmm. I never thought I'd see the day when someone called me something like that. Huh? Why aren't you getting mad? Why would I get mad at something so petty as that? She observed me directly and thought of a nickname. There's nothing dishonest about a name like that. What about Biyaku Shmaku? That's what I call you, bro. Perhaps I've already yearned for this. Though it may seem ironic for me to realize that in a particular situation like this. He's totally monologuing right now. Don't worry about it. I was talking to myself just now. I see. I don't really get it, but I guess this guy isn't just some overconfident narcissistic jerk after all like in the first game. Despite our situation, he's mysteriously calm. He might just be a reliable person after all. Alright all right, then, let's go. Let's go. We should listen to Byaku Shmaku and not waste our energy thinking about pointless things. If it's true, we're not in the best situation, but it's also not the worst. Great. Because we're not alone. We have friends who we can count on to support each other. Yay! Yeah. Seriously? That sounds so lame! <laughs> I knew it. I was thinking to myself how lame I sounded just saying that. These two have to be connected because Small keeps insulting Nagito all the time. Friends, huh? Until now, I didn't really think about friendship. That sort of thing seemed embarrassing. I never would have thought about it in this situation. No, actually, more like because of this situation. Whoosh. In the end, it doesn't even matter. We never solved the mysteries of the ominous countdown. But without losing heart, we all went back to the hotel. Believe in your friends, huh? It'd be difficult to believe in them right away, but it'd be nice if we could have it a little happen a little at a time. Blech. Huh? I'm starting to think of that like it doesn't show that I'm making any good progress. Ugh. Guess what? Back to my house. I got you uh, Kuba. Woo! <sighs> now then, there's no reason to hold up in my room and stare blankly into space. Does there's time to be a great idea if I start talking Yay! We got free time again. I know it's sudden, but it's time for a brief tutorial. During the school trip, it'll be moments called free time. During free time, you'll be able to strengthen your friendships by spending time with other students. Also, if you give them a present afterwards, you might even make a better impression. You can also obtain presents from the Mono Mondo, Mono Mono Yashin and the vending machine at the supermarket. If you strengthen that friendship, an intimate event is activated and added to the report card. Also, if you show any hope fragments you've gathered to Osami via the report card, you can gain new skills. Feel free to strengthen your friendships with as many people as you want. Also, when you spend time with someone, time will pass, and you return to your cottage afterward. After passing time several times, your free time will end, and you will continue on with the main story. By the way, you can skip free time by resting in your bed. Why would you do that? Although I don't really recommend it, please use it if you want to just continue with the main story right away. Why would you do that? It's free time, everybody. Woo! Let's do the mono mono display really quick. There's where the Monokuma plushies are placed. Putting stuff like here without my permission? Ugh. Cool. Leave here? Yes. Let's find some bitches. Okay, so if we go map, let's see. So, uh, looks like Chef Boyardee is in the restaurant. Um, Gamer Girl is in the lobby playing video games. Small is by the pool. Let's see. Yeah, can I go through sections? There you go. Okay, so. Uh, at the ranch, we got uh, frickin' Gerbil Joe. Um, we got Sonia at the airport. The Rocket Punch Market is my wife and my mechanic friend. Both my friends are at the market. Um, on the walking path is Wendy and Ibuki. Um, that guy is at the beach. Okay, I guess we just got the first island. Let's go. Crap, so there's a Rocket Punch Market. Totally a Rocket Punch Market. So guys, we're gonna hang out with with wifey and then mechanic for the two for the two hangout sessions. So wifey first, mechanic second, and then I'll try to bolster everyone's friendships. Wait, yeah, the hotel, the the rocket punch market was over here. I'm gonna hang out with people that matter, not all the butt munches I hate. Whoosh, cool, man, to the rocket punch market. I'm gonna buy some presents really quick before I talk to wifey. So let's go to the vending machine again. I I would like to save, but we'll purchase something. We'll try purchasing something? Okay. Um, let's see. We have $10. We can't buy any expensive shit. 
We'll buy, we'll buy the jewelry and we'll give her the jewelry. How about that? Cool. Sounds good. You probably get going. All right, wife. Wife, show me your legs. What? You want something? What should I do? Should I invite Akane to hang out? Yes. Hanging out with you isn't all that exciting. Oh, well, it's fine. What? I spent some time today staring blankly into space with Akane. Well, at least we're friends. Looks like Akane and I grew a little closer. Did I give Akane a present? Definitely! What would you like to give her? Ooh. What do I got? I got mineral water. I got lemon water. We got a baguette. At least it kind of shows you where your items are. We got the Joblin jewelry. Yep. Uh, present. Huh? Huh? You're giving this to me? Hmm. Well, I guess I got no choice but to take it. Yo. Hey, you. Hmm. What? Um. What's your name again? <laughs> it's Hajime. Hajime Hinata. <laughs> oh right. That sort of sounds like your name. Sorry, sorry. I keep forgetting somehow. I'll remember it easier if you keep giving me food or something. Are you an animal or something? Yo. Oh, well, later. Huh? Hold on. We only just started talking. Mm. Well, even so, I'm not interested in someone who looks like they have a low fighting power. Just from looking at you, you're probably around a two. I don't deal with anyone lower than trash, you know. What kind of measurement system is that? Like, you're focusing on a fighting power? That doesn't matter in gymnastics, right? Huh? Gymnastics? What are you talking about? I mean, you're the ultimate gymnast, right? <laughs> Oh, that. Setting records and winning competitions is easy money. Money? You're just doing it for the money? What? Yeah, that's right. I've been doing it since uh, this really persistent old man convinced me to give it a try. I've been running and jumping all over the place since I was a kid. Mm. You know, it's, uh, what's it called again? The thing where you run non-stop through a bunch of cluttered areas? Was it kind of talking about that? Do you keep running and jump across obstacles or buildings? Parkour! Is that parkour? Ah, that's it. That's exactly it. That's what the old man called it, too. Well, it doesn't matter what it's called. When you get people chasing you, you just naturally end up doing parkour and running away from them. You should try chasing me sometime. I seriously won't get caught. What kind of situations do you get caught in when you need to do parkour in the middle of the city? She's pretty crazy, but I'm a little jealous of how cheerful she is. Hooray! Akane's report card has been updated based on your experience. Yes! Hopefully we get a second part. After continuing my mostly one-sided conversation with Akane, I left the area. Alright, if we got two bits of free time on this chapter, I'm going to talk to Mechanic Joe. Do we got it? Still bright out. I still got some time. I don't feel like doing nothing. I might as well go somewhere. Yes! Alright, guys. We're going to go hang out with Mechanic Joe. Wherever he is. Let's find out where he is. Let's go to the map. I like the free time. That's the best part. Alright, Biyaku Tabu is right there. Gamer Girl is still playing video games. Um, Buff and Yelly is right there. Okay, so we got Small at the market now. No one's at the airport. Uh, my two friends are on the walking path, and Gerbil Joe is there. No one's there. Okay. In the Central Island, we got uh, Nurse Girl, and at the thing is you and you. Okay. Let's go. Wait, who's here? Are they just going to be on the walking path? Are they just going to be walking past him when I'm running? Is that how this works? I don't know. Where's Mechanic Joe? Mechanic Joe, where are you? Where are you, buddy? My fight buddy. Where is he? He's supposed to be on the walking path, y'all. Oh, wait, crap. Was that him? Oh, that's Akane. I already talked to you, Akane. Oh, there he is. So you're just standing out here, bro? Let's talk, bro. Yo. What? You bored too? Then come with me. There's something I need your help with. What should I do? Should I keep up with Kazuichi? Sure. Or bros. Alright. All right. Gundam is trying to put the moves on Miss Sonya. So I think of a... Let's think of a plan to stop him. Sounds good, bro. Spend some, some time with Kazuichi today. Thinking of a plan that will probably never be put into effect. Hooray! Looks like Kazuichi and I grew closer. Would you like to give him a present? Sure. Bro. Bro. You're dehydrated. Bro. Would you like... Oh, crap. Well, I'll save the baguettes for, uh... Frickin' boobs. I'll give boobs that. Let's give him the Ramune. Wow. Uh, you're giving this to me? I'll take it, but... Hmm. Hmm. I wonder if I can disassemble this. Well, I guess it's worth a shot. I gave you a bottle of water. How can you disassemble it? Man. Man. Why did this happen? 
We're on a tropical island, you know, surrounded by blue sea, you know. There's plenty of ladies here, too. So why do we have to be involved in this killing nonsense? Although Kazuichi's intentions are probably not pure, I agree with what he's saying. If this was a normal school trip, it would have been really, really fun. Man, and here in th I thought I was finally going to go on a school trip for the very first time. First time? Didn't you go on one during, like, middle school? I was supposed to, but I ditched it. Uh, I um, faked being sick and I stayed home. Uh, well, I had a lot of reasons, but my family is really poor. My classmates were pretty much a bunch of boring turds, so I was like, who cares if I don't go to school? But my old man found out later and beat the crap out of me. <laughs> well, obviously a parent would be mad about that, but sometimes I got yelled at for ditching school events during elementary and middle school too, dude. My damn old man, he knew better than anyone that we didn't have any money. Ah, we run a bike shop at my place, but it's seriously hard to sell bicycles these days. The only customers we get now just need a flat tire fixed or some air pumped. But yeah, despite that, I'm a genius mechanic in my family. I can take a look at if it's a bike or a car needs fixing, and I can fix anything from kids' toys to household appliances. Wow, that's pretty amazing. Of course. Well, I've been surrounded by junk and tools ever since I was born. So I just have the habit of taking things apart and putting them back together. I see, so that's the environment the ultimate mechanic was raised in. The old man was just hopeless, though, so I'm always the one who was helping out at the shop. In fact, to tell you the truth, I was really excited when we first arrived on the island. Everyone here is pretty colorful personalities, and they all seem like they're interesting people, seashell. <laughs> I hope you know that's my Gary Busey voice. I was really looking forward to uh, enjoying my youthful days here, until this crap happened. Uh, Damn it. It's my dream, you know. I've always wanted to go on a trip with my friends and stuff. Yeah. Oh, wait. We're not close enough to yet to call each other friends, huh? Hmm. I don't know, when people suddenly decide they're friends or not. But since we seem to have a goal, maybe we can at least call each other comrades. Hmm. Comrades, huh? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds pretty awesome. I'm looking forward to working with you, comrade. Kazuichi extended his hand, and I gripped it. I tried to let go, but for some reason, Kazuichi was glaring at me, and... So, Ajime, who are you aiming for? What are you talking about? You know, right? Isn't it obvious I'm talking about the ladies? Depending on your answer, the alarm clock in your room may be modified to a time bomb. If you have time for making something like that, you should spend time actually being productive. It's pretty amazing that he's able to think about that kind of stuff with a time like this. But despite his looks, Kazuichi seems like a pretty normal guy. I learned a little bit about Kazuichi today. Hooray! Oh, God. That was good. That was a good bonding experience I had with Mechanic Joe and Tits McGee. And now I know to give my wife lots of food. What's up with... Okay, this is what David Rampa taught me. If you have a brown athletic waifu, give her food and she'll love you. That's weird. That's a different ding-dong, isn't it? A? That bell just now. Could it be? Ahem! Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make! What's that, Monokuma? Hello, everyone! The fun time you've all been waiting for is about to begin! Someone killed already. I wonder what festivities await you! Oops! Don't want to ruin the surprise! Someone was killed already, weren't they? This will be an extended episode, guys. I'm going to know what's happening at Jabberwock Park. He just tells us to go to the park. It's in the middle of the night. What the hell is he up to? I suddenly had a bad feeling about all this goosebumps every time. Yeah, when they're not around me. Throwback to desire. We're not allowed to define Monokuma. Then there's no way I can ignore this, right? Which means there's nothing I can do to accept and listen to him. Damn it. What is it now? Leave here. Yes. 